Total Essay French pronunciation, tal, English, or, is a French multinational integrated oil and gas company and one of the seven supermajor oil companies in the world. Its businesses cover the entire oil and gas chain, from crude oil and natural gas exploration and production to power generation, transportation, refining, petroleum product marketing, and international crude oil and product trading. Total is also a large-scale chemicals manufacturer. Total has its head office in the Tour Total in La Défense district in Courbevoie, west of Paris. The company is a component of the Eurostox 50 stock market index. History Topic: Compagnie Française des Pétroles (CFP) 1924–1985. The company was founded after World War I, when then French President Raymond Poincaré rejected the idea of forming a partnership with Royal Dutch Shell in favor of creating an entirely French oil company. At Poincaré's behest, Col. Ernest Mercier with the support of 90 banks and companies founded Total on 28 March 1924, as the Compagnie Française des Pectroles CFP, literally the French Petroleum Company. Petroleum was seen as vital in the case of a new war with Germany. As per the agreement reached during the San Remo Conference of 1920, the French state received the 25% share held by Deutsche Bank in the Turkish Petroleum Company TPC as part of the compensation for war damages caused by Germany during World War I. The French government's stake in TPC was transferred to CFP, and the Red Line Agreement in 1928 rearranged the shareholding of CFP in TPC later renamed the Iraq Petroleum Company in 1929, to 23.75%. The company from the start was regarded as a private sector company in view of its listing on the Paris Stock Exchange in 1929. The company during the 1930s was engaged in exploration and production, primarily from the Middle East. Its first refinery began operating in Normandy in 1933. After World War II, CFP engaged in oil exploration in Venezuela, Canada, and Africa while pursuing energy sources within France. Exploration in Algeria, then a French colony, began in 1946, with Algeria becoming a leading source of oil in the 1950s. In 1954, CFP introduced its downstream product, Total brand of gasoline in the African continent and Europe. In 1980, Total Petroleum North America Limited, a company controlled 50% by CFP, bought the American refining and marketing assets of Vickers Petroleum as part of a sell-off by Esmark of its energy holdings. This purchase gave total refining capacity, transportation, and a network of 350 service stations in 20 states. Topic: <laughs> Total CFP and rebranding to Total 1985 to 2003. The company renamed itself Total CFP in 1985, to build on the popularity of its gasoline brand. Later in 1991, the name was changed to Total, when it became a public company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The French government, who used to control more than 30% of the company's stock in 1991, reduced its stake in the firm to less than 1% by 1996 in the time period between 1990 and 1994. Foreign ownership of the firm increased from 23% to 44%. Meanwhile, Total continued to expand its retail presence in North America under several brand names. 
In 1989, Denver, Colorado, based Total Petroleum, Total CFP's North American unit, purchased 125 Roadrunner retail locations from Texarkana, Texas-based Truman Arnold Companies. By 1993, Total Petroleum was operating 2,600 retail stores under the Vickers, Apco, Roadrunner, and Total brands. That year, the company began remodeling and rebranding all of its North American gasoline and convenience stores to use the Total name. Only four years later, Total sold its North American refining and retail operations to Ultramar Diamond Shamrock for $400 million in stock and $414 million in assumed debt. After Total's takeover of Petrofina of Belgium in 1999, it became known as Total Fina. Afterwards it also acquired Elf Aquitaine. First named Total Fini Elf after the merger in 2000, it was later renamed back to Total on 6 May 2003. During that rebranding, the current Globe logo was unveiled. <laughs> Total, 2003–present In 2003, Total signed for a 30% stake in the gas exploration venture in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia KSA South Rub Al Khali joint venture along with Royal Dutch Shell and Saudi Aramco. The stake was later bought out by its partners. In May 2006, Saudi Aramco and Total signed a MOU to develop the Jabail refinery and petrochemical project in Saudi Arabia which targeted 400,000 barrels per day BPD. On 21 September 2008, the two companies officially established a joint venture called Saudi Aramco Total Refining and Petrochemical Company in which a 62.5% stake was held by Saudi Aramco and the balance 37.5% held by Total. During the 2009-2010 Iraqi Oil Services Contracts Tender, a consortium led by CNPC 7.5%, which also included Total 18.75% and Petronas 18.75%, was awarded a production contract for the Harfire Field in the south of Iraq, which contains an estimated 4.1 billion barrels, 650 million cubic meters of oil as of 2010, Total is one of the world's major oil companies with over 96,000 employees and operates in more than 130 countries. In September 2010, Total announced plans to pull out of the forecourt market in the United Kingdom. In November 2012, Total announced it was selling its 20% stake and operating mandate in its Nigerian offshore project to a unit of China Petrochemical Corp for $2.5 billion. In 2013, Total started the operation at Kashagan with North Caspian Operating Company. It is the biggest discovery of oil reserves since 1968. In 2013, Total increased its stake in Novatec to 16.96%. In September 2013, Total and its joint venture partner agreed to buy Chevron Corporation's retail distribution business in Pakistan for an undisclosed amount. In January 2014, Total became the first major oil and gas firm to acquire exploration rights for shale gas in the UK after it bought a 40% interest in two licenses in the Gainsborough Trough area of Northern England for $48 million. In July 2014, the company disclosed it was in exclusive talks to sell its LPG distribution business in France to Pennsylvania-based UGI Corporation for €450 million Euros $615 million. on 20 October 2014, at 23.57 Mountain Standard Time a Dassault Falcon 50 business jet heading to Paris caught fire and exploded during takeoff after colliding with a snow removal vehicle in Vienna Kovo International Airport, and killing four, including three crew members and CEO of Total SA. Christophe de Marguerite on board. 
Alcohol presence was confirmed in the blood of the driver of the vehicle on the ground. Patrick Poyan, who was Total's refining chief at that time, was appointed as CEO after Christophe de Marguerite died. Patrick Poyane was appointed chairman of Total on December 16, 2015, in addition to his role as CEO. In February 2015, Total unveiled plans to cut 180 jobs in the United Kingdom, reduce refinery capacity and slow spending on North Sea fields after it fell to a $5.7 billion final quarter loss. The company said it would also sell off $5 billion worth of assets worldwide and cut exploration costs by 30%. Total says it would still principally be an oil and gas company but aims to be 20% low carbon by 2035, said Patrick Poyane, CEO and chairman in May 2016. In June 2016, to expand its gas and power distribution activities, Total signed a $224 million deal to buy Lampiris, the third largest Belgian supplier of gas and renewable energy. In July 2016, Total agreed to buy French battery maker Saft Group SA in a $1.1 billion deal to boost its development in renewable energy and electricity businesses. By the 14th of October 2016, the company had a share value of 111,581 million euros, distributed in 2 billion 5 128,459,212 shares. The shares are owned by a large number of shareholders, the biggest being, BlackRock 5.02%, the employees of Total SA 4.90%, the company itself 4.70%, the group Brussels Lambert 2.50%. Total has agreed to acquire $2.2 billion in upstream and downstream assets from Petrobras as part of the firm's strategic alliance announced in October 2016. For Total, these new partnerships with Petrobras reinforce Total's position in Brazil through access to new fields in the Santos Basin while entering the gas value chain. Between 2013 and 2017 Total has organized the Argos Challenge, a robotic competition with the aim to develop robots for their oil and gas production sites. It was won by an Austrian German team using a variant of the Taurob Tracker robot. In July 2017, Total has signed a major deal for a total amount of $4.8 billion with Iran for the development and production of South Pars, the world's largest gas field. In August 2017, Total announced the acquisition of Maersk Oil for $7.45 billion in a share and debt transaction. This deal will position Total as the second operator in the North Sea. In September 2017, Total has signed an agreement with Erin Re and acquire an interest of 23% in Erin Re by subscribing to a capital increase for an amount of 237.5 million euros. In November 2017, Total has announced the launch on the French residential market of Total Spring, a natural gas and green power offering that is 10% cheaper than regulated tariffs. Total is thus pursuing its strategy of downstream integration in the gas and power value chain in Europe. Organization Topic business segments Since September 2016, Total has set up a new organization to achieve its one total company ambition to become a responsible energy major. It is composed by the following segments, exploration and production gas, renewables and power refining and chemicals trading and shipping marketing and services Total Global Service Total has also announced the creation of two new corporate divisions, people and social responsibility, human resources, health, safety and environment, the security division, and a new civil society engagement division. Strategy and Innovation, Strategy and Climate Division, responsible for ensuring that total strategy incorporates the 2 degrees Celsius global warming scenario, public affairs, audit, research and development, the Chief Digital Officer and the Senior Vice President Technology. Topic. 
Topic: Subsidiaries and affiliates of Total SA. As of the 31st of December 2014, Total SA had 903 subsidiaries consolidated into the group results, together with significant affiliate investments and joint ventures, mostly in LPG. In addition Total had other significant equity holdings amounting to about 3 bn euros, treated as investments and was involved in a number of significant joint ventures, mostly relating to LPG and LNG exploration, production and shipping. The joint ventures that are treated as subsidiaries are listed in the Consolidated Subsidiary section. Main Consolidated Subsidiaries Topic. Head office The company has its head office in the Tour Total in the La Défense district in Courbevoie, France, near Paris. The building was originally constructed between 1983 and 1985 for ELF Aquitaine. Total SA acquired the building after its merger with ELF in 2000. Topic. Senior management Christophe de Marguerite was chief executive from 14 February 2007 until 20 October 2014, when he died in a plane crash at Vienikovo Airport in Moscow. During the plane's takeoff roll it collided with a snowplow which had failed to follow the remainder of its convoy. His total annual compensation for this role was €2,746,335, consisting of a €1,250,000 salary and €1,496,335 bonus. The present chairman and CEO of the company is Patrick Poyane, 2014 to present. On December 16, 2015, Patricia Barbizet was named lead independent director. Topic group Performance Management Committee With effect from 2 April 2015, a group performance management committee is in place. The mission of this committee is to examine, analyze and pilot the safety, financial and business results of the group. In addition to the members of the executive committee, this committee is composed of the managers in charge of the main business units of the group, as well as a limited number of senior vice presidents of functions at group and branch levels. Since September 2016, the committee includes, for group functions, the senior vice presidents in charge of, corporate communications, legal, HSE, and strategy and climate. For exploration and production, the senior vice presidents in charge of the following business units, Africa, Americas, Asia Pacific, Europe and Central Asia, Middle East, North Africa, exploration, and one function, decided by the COMEX. For gas, renewables, and power, the president gas and power and a function chosen by the executive committee for refining and chemicals, the senior vice presidents in charge of the following business units, refining and base chemicals Europe, refining and petrochemicals Orient, polymers, Hutchinson, and one function, decided by the COMEX. For trading shipping, the senior vice president trading shipping. For marketing and services, the senior vice presidents in charge of the following business units, Europe, Africa, global businesses, and one function, decided by the COMEX. For total global services, the president total global services, source, the official website of total. Topic executive committee led by the CEO, the executive committee is Total's primary decision-making organization. Since September 2016, members of Total's executive committee are, Patrick Poyane, Chairman and CEO. Arno Brulac, President of Exploration and Production. Patrick de la Chevardieri, Chief Financial Officer. Momar Inger, President Marketing and Services. 
Philippe Sorquet, President, Gas, Renewables and Power and Executive Vice President, Strategy and Innovation Namita Shah, Executive Vice President, People and Social Responsibility Bernard Pinatel, President Refining and Chemical Source, the official website of Total. Topic: Operations. In May 2014, the company shelved its Jocelyn North oil sands project in the Athabasca region of Alberta, Canada indefinitely, citing concerns about operating costs. An estimated $11 billion has been spent on the project, in which Total is the largest shareholder with 38.5%, Suncor Energy holds 36.75%, Occidental Petroleum owns 15%, and Japan's Inpex has a 10% interest. Total is involved in 23 projects of exploration and production in Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and Russia. Topic. Investments in Iran Total has been a significant investor in the Iranian energy sector since 1990. In July 2017, Total and the National Iranian Oil Company signed a contract for the development and production of South Pars, the world's largest gas field. The project will have a production capacity of 2 billion cubic feet per day. The produced gas will supply the Iranian domestic market starting in 2021. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Acquisitions. On the 29th of April 2011, Total agreed to buy 60% of photovoltaics company SunPower for $1.38 billion. By the 2013 annual reporting date Total owned 64.65%. On 9 May 2016, Total agreed to purchase French battery maker Saft Group SA for €1.1 billion. Euros. In June 2016, to expand its gas and power distribution activities, Total signed a $224 million deal to buy Lampiris, the third largest Belgian supplier of gas and renewable energy. In December 2016, Total acquires approximately 23% of Tellurian, for an amount of $207 million to develop an integrated gas project. In August 2017, Total announced they would buy Maersk oil from AP. Moller Maersk in a deal expected to close in the first quarter of 2018. In April 2018, Total announced they are buying 74% of the French electricity and gas provider Direct Energy from their main stockholders, for €1.4 billion. Euros. Topic. Sponsorship Total has provided fuel and lubricants to professional auto racing teams. Total has been a long-time partner of Citroën Sport in the World Rally Championship, Dakar Rally and World Touring Car Championship. Shebastian Loeb won nine WRC drivers titles, whereas Ari Vatanen and Pierre Lartigue won four editions of the Dakar Rally. Total has been a partner of Peugeot Sport in Formula One from 1995 to 2000, the British Touring Car Championship in 1995 and 1996 and since 2001 in the World Rally Championship, Intercontinental Rally Challenge, 24 Hours of Le Mans, Intercontinental Le Mans Cup, Dakar Rally and Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Total was a partner of Renault Sport in Formula One from 2009 to 2016. Their logo appeared on the Red Bull racing cars since 2009, the Renault F1 cars in 2009, 2010 and 2016, and the Lotus F1 cars from 2011 to 2014. 
Total also partnered Caterham F1 team in 2011–2014, Scuderia Toro Rosso in 2014–2015 and Williams F1 team in 2012–2013. Also, Total was the title sponsor of the Copa Sudamericana football tournament in 2013 and 2014. In April 2017, Total SA was appointed by FIA and ACO as official fuel supplier of World Endurance Championship and 24 Hours of Le Mans from 2018–19 season onwards. Total is one of the official sponsors for one of the most popular and influential Mexican soccer teams, Club America. Total logo on the left shoulder of the team's jersey. In terms of educational development Total provides scholarships worth millions of euros annually to international students to study in France. These programs are mainly for master's degree. Doctoral scholarships are also offered but in limited numbers. The student come from mainly from Europe, Africa, Asia and the Middle East where Total operates. Students from Africa are mainly from Nigeria. The scholarship involves the payment of tuition and a monthly allowance of €1,400 Euros 2014 disbursement. The allowance is able to cater for feeding, transportation and accommodation for the students. The drop in oil prices in 2015 has led to the reduction of the number of scholars. The scholarship scheme has come under a lot of criticism for various reasons. Some scholars believe the flat rate of €1,400 Euros is unfair as the cost of living for cities in France are not the same. Also, students have complained that the monthly allowance needs to be reviewed and upgraded to €2,000 Euros monthly. Other criticism include the fact that the number of PhD, scholarship slots are very small compared to the master's degree slots. In July 2016, Total has secured an eight-year sponsorship package from the Confederation of African Football CAF, to support ten of its principal competitions. Total will start with the Africa Cup of Nations to be held in Gabon therefore renaming it Total Africa Cup of Nations. <laughs> environmental and safety records In 1998 the Total SA company was fined €375,000 for an oil spill that stretched 400 km from La Rochelle to the western tip of Brittany. The company was only fined that amount because they were only partially liable because Total SA did not own the ship. The plaintiffs had sought more than $1.5 billion in damages. More than 100 groups and local governments joined in the suit. The total company was fined just over $298,000. The majority of the money will go to the French government, several environmental groups, and various regional governments. The Total SA company was also fined $550,000 for the amount of marine pollution that came from it. After the oil spill they tried to restore their image and have opened a sea turtle conservation project in Masira in recent years. Prior to the verdict in which Total was found guilty one of the counterparts in the incident, Malta Maritime Authority MMA, was not to be tried for having any hand in the incident. In 2005 Total submitted a report to the Paris courts which stated that Total had gathered a group of experts that stated the tanker had corrosion on it and that Total was responsible for it. The courts sought a second expert reviewing of this information which was turned down. The AZF chemical plant which exploded in 2001 in Toulouse, France, belonged to the Grande Parois branch of Total. On 13 August 2007, Total announced a lower fuel emission, lower emissions and cost-efficient petroleum product, named Evolution. Evolution is designed to let its user use less fuel and get further than other fuels. The product was developed exclusively for Total because of the demand for more energy-efficient products. 
This fuel can be used with any engine that runs on unleaded. On the 16th of January 2008, Total was required to compensate all of the victims of the pollution caused by the sinking of the ship Erica. They are required to compensate the victims in the amount of 192 million euros. This is in addition to the 200 million euros that Total spent to help clean up the spill. The company appealed against the verdict, lost the case in the following two appeals and was definitely condemned. In 2016, Total was ranked as the second best of 92 oil, gas, and mining companies on indigenous rights in the Arctic. Topic. Climate commitments In May 2016, Total published their first climate report to detail its action as a company and with its partners to meet the growing demand for energy while limiting its impact on the climate. Total's climate strategy is based on three pillars, improving the carbon intensity of its energy mix, its energy efficiency and developing renewable energies. Total is also member of the Oil and Gas Climate Initiative OGCI, which is a CEO-led initiative which aims to show sector leadership in the response to climate change. OGCI is made up of 10 oil and gas companies that collaborate on action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In November 2016, the OGCI announced the launch of a $1 billion climate investment fund to invest in cutting the climate change impact of fossil fuels. The fund will support startups and help develop and demonstrate innovative technologies that have the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions significantly and also focus on ways to reduce costs of carbon capture and storage technology. Topic: Controversies. Total SA has been involved in multiple controversies. Hereafter there is a list of the main ones. Topic: Malta. Total is being implicated in a bribe commission scandal which is currently emerging in Malta. It has emerged that Total had told Maltese agents that it would not be interested in doing business with them unless the team included George Ferrugia, who is under investigation in the procurement scandal. George Ferrugia has recently been given a presidential pardon in exchange of information about this scandal. Enamalta, Malta's energy supplier, swiftly barred Total and its agents, Trafigura from bidding and tenders. An investigation is currently underway and three people have been arraigned. Topic: <inaudible> Myanmar Investments. Despite the European Union's sanctions against the military dictatorship Myanmar, Total is able to operate the Yadana natural gas pipeline from Burma to Thailand. Total is currently the subject of a lawsuit in French and Belgian courts for the condoning and use of the country's civilian slavery to construct the pipeline. The documentary Total Denial shows the background of this project. The NGO Burma Campaign UK is currently campaigning against this project. Topic: <laughs> Italian bribes. On 16 December 2008, the managing director of the Italian division of Total, Lionel Lever, and ten other executives were arrested by the Public Prosecutor's Office of Potenza, Italy, for a corruption charge of €15 million Euros to undertake the oilfield in Basilicata on contract. Also arrested was the local deputy of Partito Democratico Salvatore Margiotta and an Italian entrepreneur. UN Oil for Food Programme for Iraq In April 2010, Total was accused of bribing Iraqi officials during former President Saddam Hussein's regime to secure oil supplies. 
A United Nations report later revealed that Iraqi officials had received bribes from oil companies to secure contracts worth over $10 billion. On 26 February 2016, the Paris Court of Appeals considered Total guilty and ordered the company to pay a fine of €750,000 for corrupting Iraqi civil servants. The court's ruling overturns an earlier acquittal in the case. Bribery in Iran In 2013, a case was settled that concerned charges that Total bribed an Iranian official with $60 million, which they documented as a consulting charge, and which unfairly gave them access to Iran's Siri A and Siri E oil and gas fields. The bribery gave them a competitive advantage, earning them an estimated $150 million in profits. The Securities Exchange Commission and the Department of Justice settled the charges, expecting total to pay $398 million. <laughs> Western Sahara oil exploration In October 2001, Total signed a contract for oil reconnaissance in areas offshore Western Sahara near Dakla, with the Moroccan Office National de Recherches et d'Exploitations Petrolières ONAREP. In January 2002, Hans Carell, the United Nations Undersecretary General for Legal Affairs, stated in a letter to the President of the Security Council that whenever the contracts are only for exploration they're not illegal, but if further exploration or exploitation are against the interests and wishes of the people of Western Sahara, they would be in violation of the principles of international law. Finally, Total decided to not renew their license off Western Sahara. Topic. See also 2005 Hertfordshire Oil Storage Terminal Fire 2007 UK Petrol Contamination Centre Scientifique A Technique Jean Faget Big Total Base in Pau, France Erup Fossil Fuels Lobby Lindsay Oil Refinery <laughs>